The historic blizzard of December 11th and 12th dropped more than 17 inches of snow on the Twin Cities. It also collapsed the roof of the Metrodome, deflating the Minnesota Vikings' hopes of finishing their home season in their home state. As the Vikings' final home game drew near, the University of Minnesota agreed to reopen the doors of TCF Bank Stadium, which had already been winterized after a season-ending Gophers victory over the Iowa Hawkeyes on November 20th. But the stadium was winterized in more ways than one. The field and seats were sitting under that same snowy blanket that brought down the roof of the dome, which meant the university and the community would have to join forces in a large-scale snow emergency. The U and the Vikings brought in crews of temporary workers, many of them volunteers who undertook the arduous process of clearing the stadium one shovelful at a time. This event, uh, the Monday Night Football event that we're going to have tonight at 740 kickoff, was a total university community effort. Not only the stadium staff, we had to coordinate getting the snow out of the stadium, which was a, a monumental task. It was the, the uh, facilities management group, the land care group, waste management, uh, facility management, maintenance, all the different work that they did in order to get the stadium ready for the, for the game tonight. Is, it was just unbelievable. Um, just in the stadium alone, we figured that we put in close to 27,000 man hours on, um, on shoveling and hauling snow out of the stadium. We had 40,000 cubic yards of snow that we took out of the stadium, which if you were to put it on a football field, is 20 feet deep. So that's how much snow came out of the stadium. It was the first time the Vikings had the opportunity to play a home game outdoors in exactly 29 years since the last game at Met Stadium on December 20th, 1981. And that brought smiles to and advice from some of the Purple People leaders who roam the Met. I think it's going to be fun, you know, to, uh, to play uh, in this kind of weather. Weather actually influences the game strategy-wise, skill-wise, all those kinds of things. So it'll be nice to see how these guys play. Of course, just when the field and stadium were all in the clear, gleaming green field and tarp, maroon and gold seats, and some new touches of purple flare, Old Man Winter decided to get nasty again. Another major storm arrived mid-morning on game day and dumped six more inches of snow, keeping workers scurrying until game time. But that didn't keep fans from lining up early for the chance to enjoy an outdoor football game in December in the friendly confines of TCF Bank Stadium. I think it was great that the university accommodated the Vikings in quick time. They got the volunteers out here, which was great. They got a little money, I hope. It's a great atmosphere to be for football. So it was great. Win or lose. The university, for its part, was happy to lend a hand to the Vikings and show off its new jewel at the east end of campus to some new fans and a national TV audience. I want to tell you how proud I am of the university community. About five days ago, we had a discussion with the NFL and the Minnesota Vikings leadership about whether we could get TCF Bank Stadium ready for this game. And literally, Thousands and thousands of people have been working together, and I, I can tell you I, I couldn't be prouder of the kind of work that has gone on to make this historic day possible. 